problem number 5 an electric train runs between two substations 6 km apart maintained at voltages 600 volt and 590 volt respectively and it draws a constant current of 300 amperes while in motion the track resistance of go and return path is 0.04 ohm per kilometer calculate the point along the track where the minimum potential occurs second part the current supplied by two substations when the train is at the point of minimum potential okay so an electric train is running between two substations say a and b substation a and substation b the distance between both the substations being 6 km okay so the both the substations are maintained at voltage is 600 volt and 590 volt separate uh, respectively so substation a is at 600 volt substation b is at 590 volt okay and they had given the resistance of both the go and return forward and return uh, wire conductor is 0.04 ohm per kilometer okay so we are asked to calculate the point along the track where minimum potential occurs so we have marked point m as the point along the track where minimum potential occurs and we have considered the point m where the minimum potential occurs is at a distance x from substation a okay therefore the distance between the minimum potential point and the other substation b will be 6 minus x okay so the total track distance between two substations is 6 km point of minimum potential is considered as m and it is considered to be at a distance x from substation a okay so the point m will be at a distance 6 minus x from substation b okay and in the question they had given it draws a constant current 300 ampere okay it draws a constant current so at point m also it draws a current of 300 ampere okay so now let us consider uh, yeah they have asked to calculate the current supplied by two substations so let ia be the current supplied by substation a okay and 300 minus ia will be the current supplied by substation b supplied means it should be from point b from the substation b that is the reason why i have taken the current direction from b okay so from a and from b so ia is the current from substation a and 300 ampere is the current at point m so if you have if you you would have taken along this direction it is ia minus 300 but it is a current supplied from b so i have taken current 300 minus ia okay so now let us write the or let us calculate the resistance of section am and the resistance of section mb okay so the resistance is 0.04 ohm per kilometer what is the distance of section am it is x kilometer so the total resistance of section am will be 0.04 into x in the same way resistance of section mb is 0.04 into 6 minus x okay so resistance of section am and resistance for section mb are written okay now using kvl potential at point m vm okay so the potential at point m vm is va minus the drop across section am okay so what is the drop in section am ia into r am ia into r am okay so what is the voltage at a va so what is the voltage at vm at m vm is equal to va minus ia into r am okay so we can write the voltage at point m with respect to point b also okay so what is it with respect to point b vm is equal to vm is equal to vb so with respect to point b point b is the supplying side which supplies 300 minus ia so there would have been a drop of 300 minus ia into rmb in section mb okay so vm is equal to vb minus 300 minus ia into rmb so with respect to point b also we have written vm 
Vm is equal to Vb minus 300 minus Ia into Rmb. Okay. So now both the equations should be the same. So you equate both. 1 is equal to 2 implies Va minus Ia Rim is equal to Vb minus 300 minus Ia into Rmb. Okay. So now substitute the value for Ram and Rmb. What is Rim? 0 0.04 into x. What is Rmb? 0 0.04 into 6 minus 6. Okay. So now for the right hand side, what is Va? What is V and Vb? Substitute that also. 600. What is Vb? 590 volt. Okay. So now this term from the right hand side you expand. 300 minus Ia into point 0 0.04 into 6 is 0 0.24 minus 0 0.04x. Again multiply. Okay. This two bracket terms. So 300 into 0 0.24 which is 72 minus 300 into 0 0.04x which is 12x. Then minus 0 0.24 into Ia, minus of minus plus 0 0.04x Ia. Then again you are taking this minus sign inside. 590 minus 72 plus 12x plus 0 0.24 Ia minus 0 0.04x Ia. Okay. So when you see both left hand side and right hand side, we have 0 0.04x Ia on either side. Minus 0 0.04x Ia. So on both the sides it will get cancelled. Okay. So after cancelling that like terms, you will get uh, 0.24 IA is equal to simplify this also. Okay, so 600 minus 590 plus 72 will be 82. Bringing this 12x to the other side, it will be minus 12x. So 0.24 IA is equal to 82 minus 12x. Therefore, IA is equal to 341.67 minus 50x. Okay, so what we are writing? We are writing the resistance of the track, of the section of the track. AM, RAM and the section MB which is RMB. Okay. Then we are writing the voltage at point M where the potential will be minimum Vm. So we have written Vm with respect to substation A as in equation 1 and we have written Vm with respect to substation B as equation 2 and we have equated both the equation, substituted the known values and got Ia as 341.67 minus 50x. Okay. Now, from equation 1, from equation 1, we have Vm is equal to Va minus Ia Ram. Okay. So, now our aim is to find the distance x for which Vm will be minimum. Okay. So, we are again coming back to equation 1. Vm is equal to Va minus Ia Ram. Substitute for Va, substitute for Ia, substitute for Ram. Okay. Now, you will get the potential at point M, Vm in terms of the distance from substation A which is x. Okay. So 2x square minus 13.68x plus 600 is equal to Vm. Okay. So this is a well known mathematical uh, relation. Okay. So for this Vm to be minimum. Okay. For Vm to be minimum. So the differential of Vm with respect to x should be equated to 0. Okay. So then we will get the distance at which Vm will be minimum. Okay, the point at which minimum potential occurs can be found out using this derivative relation. So, dVm by dx is equal to 0. Substitute for Vm. Vm is 600 minus 13.668x plus 2x square is equal to 0. Okay, so with respect to x, you differentiate this equation. So, 600 is a constant. So, 0. So, minus 13.668 into x, which is minus 13.668. Differential of 2x square is 4x, which is equal to 0. Okay. On simplifying, you will get x is equal to 3.42 kilometer. Okay. So, now the answer for uh, part 1 is found. The minimum potential occurs at a distance 3.42 kilometer from substation A. So, we have found the point of occurrence of minimum potential. Okay. Now, for the second part is for the, yeah, at the point of minimum potential, what is the current supplied by both the substations, okay. So, already we have found the current supplied by substation A is Ia is equal to 341.67 minus 50x, okay. So, now from part 1, we have found x is equal to 3.42. Substitute for x, you will get the current supplied by substation A is 170.67 ampere okay therefore 
current supplied by substation B. Okay, so what is the current supplied from the substation B? Already we have written it as 300 minus IA. IA is known. Therefore, IB is equal to 300 minus IA, which is equal to 300 minus 170.67 equals 129.33 amperes. Okay. So, in the problem, uh, there is a track of length 6 kilometer. Okay. Distance between two substations in the track. The voltage of the substations are given. The resistance per kilometer is given. Okay, so no reactants, only resistance. So it is a DC distributor. It is a DC distributor. You are asked to calculate two things. One is the point at which minimum potential occurs. Second, second one is current supplied by the two substations when the train reaches the point of minimum potential. Okay, so based on the given question, we have drawn the uh, distributor AB of length 6 kilometer and we have marked M as the point of minimum potential. And we have considered point M to be at a distance X from substation A and 6 minus X from substation B. Okay. We know the resistance per kilometer. So for X kilometer resistance of section AM is X into 0 0.04. Similarly for 6 minus X kilometer the resistance of section MB is 0 0.04 into 6 minus X. Okay. So knowing the current IA in section AM we can calculate the drop across section AM which is IA into RAM. Similarly, the drop across section MB is 300 minus IA into RMB. Okay. Now, the, we applying KVL, we are writing VM with respect to substation A and VM with respect to substation B. We are equating both the equations and finding one equation for expression for IA in terms of X. Okay. Then we are finding out the minimum potential differential condition. From that we got the value of X. Then substitute the value of X to find out the current supplied by substation A and substation B. Okay. So this is a very frequently asked university question.